When you're starting to use a CRM, one of the first things that most people want to do is automate sending out emails. Those basic sales follow-up emails that you're sending out several times a day out to customers that you just talk to on the phone or you're trying to get an appointment with or something like that. Well, it doesn't have to be real hard. A lot of people get stuck trying to write the perfect email and design it and make it look pretty. And really, that's not necessary. A great way to get started is just go to your email program. Like I use Gmail. Here's an email that I recently sent out to a customer. And it's pretty close to what I typically send out. But obviously, I don't want to write something this long several times a day, right? It'd be better if I and the rest of the people on my team could use this and send it out to all kinds of different customers with just a click several times a day, right? So I'm just going to copy this out of my email program. You know, you could, this could be Outlook, whatever you use. And I'm going to go to Sales Nexus, and under Campaigns, I'm going to say Create Email Template. And I'm going to give my template a name, and I'll just call it Sales Follow-Up. And select a format. And I'm going to put some text in there. And so I paste that in. Now, it's all in there and pretty much ready to go, except what I'm going to do is put a mail merge field here at the top so that I can use it over and over again, and it'll put the right first name at the beginning of the email. And then I'm going to go to the bottom and put my signature. But I'll use mail merge fields for that as well so that everybody else on my team can use the same template, but it'll be personalized for them. So I'm going to do my name and maybe my phone number. There we go. And the company name. And whatever else you want to do. And you know you could put links, other mail merge fields in the text or the body of the email. Hit OK. And that email is ready to go now. So only one more step. We're going to create a campaign from it, and that's what lets people use it. So we're going to create a campaign here. I'm going to call it uh, same thing, same sales follow-up, and just add that email. You have to choose your subject line. Um, so maybe it's something as simple as that. You want the subject line to sort of get their attention and remind them um, why they need to read your email. There's the template we just created. Add it in. Boom. It's ready to go. Now, if you wanted to, right here, you could add other emails to the campaign so that you're scheduling multiple emails to go out over the course of several days all at once. So you might have your initial sales follow-up and then a, a request for a, an appointment that comes a couple of days later. And then maybe another one that go, goes out a week later that you send out to people who aren't responding to your phone calls or something like that. Um, and each one of them, you can be notified if, some, if the recipient opens or clicks on them if you want. Um, so I could just click that right there. And if they click the link in my email, I'll know about it instantly. I'm going to save that, and it's set and ready to go. So to use it, you know, you're on a customer record. And you make a phone call, and everything goes great. And you say, thanks a lot, Mr. Customer. I'll send you an email with a link to this and a link to that and the information we talked about. I hit email template, and I find the campaign that we just created. There it is. And it fills in my subject line. There's my email. If I wanted to, I can go down here at the bottom and attach documents to it, whatever, and hit send email, and that email is on its way. And now I'm going to have a record in that customer's record that I sent that email, and again, I'll be alerted when they click on that email as well. So just start copying the emails you've already written and sent to customers. Use those as a starting point for your email campaigns and email templates in your CRM, 
and then see which ones are getting the most responses and optimize the ones that aren't.